Let's take a look at a new Seesaw feature called Present to Class. The first way to take a look at Present to Class is to go up to the green Add button at the top, click on Assign Activity. Once you decide what activity you'd like, you click on the tile so that it opens up, and then you will see that beside the blue Assign button, you now have a new button that says Present to Class. So when I click on there as the teacher, it now is going to present on my whiteboard at the beginning of the class, and I can do all sorts of things. I can use the pen tools. So with those pen tools, I can annotate, I can explain to the students how to go through the lesson. Perhaps I want to look at the next slide. I can do that. I can also use the frame. So in this particular one, it's an audio frame. So if I click on the audio button, it's going to uh, let me record so we can see the counter is counting down. It's recording. Click the green check mark, and now I can even listen back. There it is. Likewise, up in the top, if there are audio instructions, I can listen to those. So I can use any of the features that I'd like. Now, the important thing is you'll notice that there's a green bar along the top that says presenting to class. That's a reminder to me that nothing that I do on this screen is going to save. Once I click in the top left back to lesson, any of my annotations or my recordings, photos, videos, they're all evaporated. Another way that we want to make sure we know to use to get to class is if I have items that are already assigned to students. If I hover over the left hand thumbnail, you'll notice that it shows present to class. If I click on there, I'll get that green bar across the top again that I'm presenting to class and I can use the tools in this one as well. So two different ways to get to present to class. It's a great way to do a whole class activity if you don't intend to assign to students or model for students how to use an activity that you might assign to them later on.